Much needed aid is on the way to more than 11 million famine victims in East Africa. The World Bank today pledged to donate some $500 million in assistance to the drought ravaged Horn of Africa. Kevin Rudd, Australia's Minister for Foreign Affairs, witnessed conditions firsthand today at a UN World Food Program camp in Somalia. He warned that the situation is dire. This will be five times as bad come the end of the year if we don't act now. It's as simple as that. People like the Brits, the Canadians, ourselves, we put our best foot forward, and there are other countries as well. But we do need more. And so it's a direct appeal to folk across the world, governments across the world, to do their bit. A UN donors conference set for Wednesday in Nairobi, Kenya, will try to raise as much as a billion dollars in aid money. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of refugees have fled from Somalia into Kenya. Martin Geisler of Independent Television News is spending time at three hospitals there this week. And be advised, this story contains disturbing images. This is the sharp end of the biggest humanitarian crisis on earth. The intensive care unit at Hagadera Hospital in Dadaab. The children they treat here have made it out of Somalia, but only just. The influx of refugees has put a huge pressure on space and staff. They only admit the most serious cases. Today, like every day, the ward is full to bursting. As we filmed, a mother arrived with her baby. When doctors saw Minaj, even they were shocked. Oh, this is a very sick chant. Please, and give me, give me the brand wrap, please. Yeah. So, so this is a chant very weak, very, very weak, and it's severely wasted. Hmm? He's aged just seven months, but has the haggard face of a sick old man. I need some light, so some light. He's so dehydrated, the staff struggled to find a vein. Eventually, they connected a drip and gave him vital fluids. The syringe was bigger than his tiny arm. Bewildered and terrified, he couldn't muster the strength to cry. Just a haunting, silent scream. If this child hadn't come in here, yeah. would he have been alive tonight? No, no, no. No, no, I don't think. I don't, I don't think. It's lucky that he has actually come to the hospital. It's very lucky. But now you think... Yeah, good there's, there's a good chance. Very it's amazing, good chance. isn't it? Maybe tomorrow or the next day you see the child doing that. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It really is amazing. Yesterday we found Aden in this ward. He's three, believe it or not. He weighs less than 12 and a half pounds, a healthy child's weight at six months. His grandmother said the family walked here from Somalia. It took them four weeks. This morning, the nasal feeding tube was gone. Aden was sitting up and drinking. He put weight on. With a little help and the right care, the human body can work miracles. This is the best gift I think I can give to any human being. To, I'm very much joyful and very glad, uh, grateful because at the end of the day, that's, uh, I've touched somebody's life. And at the end of the day, the child will do very well. And uh, I mean, it gives me the inner peace and joy that I need. Aden's father wanted to take him home. He had other children to look after. Aden has a twin. The doctors wouldn't let him go. They sent an ambulance out to bring the brother in for a checkup. This is where the family live, seven of them, in one stifling tent. How many people? Even if Aden survives, he'll grow up without a mother. She died on the journey down. They buried her at the roadside and carried on. In the hospital, the twins were reunited. Just look at the difference in size. Tonight in the hospital, the hard work continues. The horrors of Somalia's famine countered by the hope that this place brings. Minaj makes a wonderful noise. Because of my nutrition. He's screaming, he's crying. Yeah, the child is crying. It's good. Huh? Yeah, it's a good sign. The crucial first few hours have gone well, but there's a long fight ahead.